The newest season of Emily in Paris is here, and if you're anything like us, you're swooning over the sets. Thanks in part to the show, we're seeing Parisian flair pop up everywhere. But can you pull the look off in your own house? In this episode of Showroom Steals, we'll break down the trend and show you how you can achieve that effortlessly chic Parisian style with just a few simple tips. Structural elements are key in French homes, and that can be a challenge to replicate when you're in a new home rather than a 100-year-old apartment, but we have a few tips to solve that. The color palette tends to lean neutral with accent colors and textures chosen intentionally and sparingly, like a jewel tone velvet couch. And to make sure the look isn't full Marie Antoinette, the quintessential Parisian style is a mix of modern pieces and vintage touches. And of course, lots of baubles and florals to make the space feel like home. Today, I'm gonna to show you a few ways you can incorporate these style basics into your home. Next stop, Paris. First up, structural elements. The magic of Parisian homes is that their walls have history in them, and the character is flowing out of every corner. But not to worry, we've got ways to add some serious charm without you having to pack up and move to Paris. Although, I wouldn't blame you if you did that too. Herringbone floors instantly lend a French flair to any space. A lighter shade of wood with warm undertones lends itself to a traditional French color palette, but we have a whole range of options to choose from. And if you don't want to tear up your floor, you can achieve the same herringbone look by using vinyl planks, which are actually pretty simple to install. You'll also see an abundance of molding and millwork on Parisian interior walls. If your home doesn't already have these accents, you can easily achieve the look by installing wainscoting, crown molding, and even large focal pieces like a ceiling medallion. We'll add links to some of our instructional DIY videos in case you want to tackle installing some of these accents yourself. To give your space a neutral base to work from, we recommend sticking with a white paint like Valspar Blanched Pine. It'll complement your herringbone floors and give you a blank canvas to work with. Next, pick some accent colors you'd like to weave in. Just make sure they complement each other. And don't forget texture. Linen, cane, velvet, and boucle fabrics are all great options. Don't be afraid to mix and match. We're adding more character bit by bit, and we'll continue to touch on color as we fill the room with more Parisian flair. I love committing to a theme, and as much as I love this French vibe, we are looking for Emily in Paris, not King Louis XVI. To keep your space from feeling like an ornate wedding cake, it's best to mix modern style with vintage flair. For adding vintage flair, we love pieces like ornate mirrors and crystal chandeliers. They're everywhere in the show, and they're a bold but easy way to incorporate this style in your home. Make sure to choose one with gold accents to warm up the cool crystal tones. Here are two that I found that I absolutely love. They have an antique vibe without feeling outdated and would make a big impact in any room. And you get bonus points if you pair them with a ceiling medallion. For these chandeliers and everything else we covered today, we'll drop product links in the description below so you can shop for anything and everything you love. If you're watching this way in the future and those products aren't available, don't worry. All you have to do is go to our chandelier page and filter by vintage and gold finish to see our latest selection. We're always bringing in new styles, so this is my shameless plug to consider subscribing to the show so you can see our latest picks real time. For smaller vintage inspired touches, look for decor pieces like ceramic vases, plaster busts, and decorative book sets. To bring all that vintage into the 21st century, pair it with modern pieces like bold accent chairs and sleek side and coffee tables. And last but not least, do not skip the minute details. A true Parisian home is filled with personal accents like flowers, photos, and the odd bauble. So what do you think? Are you ready to transform your space into a chic Parisian getaway? Or should Emily's style stay in Paris? Leave us a comment below and let us know what design style we should tackle next. And don't forget to catch our other videos on YouTube for all the DIY and design advice you could ever need. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.